those ideas coming. Keep, keep them coming because I like, I like the ideas. Going back to my adventure trailer. So, I made the doors and you can see I've measured something a little bit wrong because there is a little bit of a gap. More gap, less gap on the top and more gap on the bottom. I'm not going to fix them because it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm going to fix that by putting a, sh a sheet in the front that holds the door together anyway. So, yeah, I know they're not straight, but I know, you know, but nobody else does. So, the doors just hinged in here, right? Very rudimentary doors. They will open and close. That's all they have to do, right? So, they'll open and close. Now, a couple of YouTubers gave me an idea as far as the door goes and they said, hey, why don't you make a hinge here on top? You have a hinge on top over here, you'll be able to just use it as a roof. Great idea, hard to get out of the trailer. So if I'm sleeping in it and I want to get out, I have to push it all the way up. I have to find a mechanism that can hold it up there. It just complicates the project. I'm trying to make it as cheap as possible. Other people said, put a hinge on the bottom, right? So you put a hinge over here, and then you can use it as a ramp. Absolutely a great idea. But it's not gonna work because uh, I have a problem with uh, reinforcing the part. So here on the bottom part, if I put a hinge over here, which other people recommended that way, and thank you very much for all your comments. Well, the problem is that yes, I make a, a drop-down tail, and that's gonna be great, but if I sleep in it, I wanna go out in the middle of the night, I have to drop the entire tail down, and I have to find a way to actually lift it up. And it's really not becoming a camper, it's really becoming a toy hauler. So I had to find a compromise in between. I'm not gonna load quads, I'm not gonna load other things over here, just motorcycles, so I could just carry a, a, a little uh, ramp inside the trailer, and I'm done. It's as simple as that. And then I have two opening doors, so I could just open one of them, right? And get out and just close it. It's very, very natural motion, so you could just open it and close it. Um, so, this back can be always modified. I'm gonna go with this this time because it's cheaper this way, but if one of you guys is gonna have a brilliant idea, is gonna come with a like much, much better plan, I'm gonna always rip this apart, just cut them out, and then put something else in. But um, to have a drop-down tail, I have to enforce that one really good so the bike can go up, and that complicates things, and it's up. It's really still out of the way because when you open it, it's kind of like the entire back of the trailer is open. So this way is like a little bit halfway. So if somebody else is sleeping, my girlfriend is sleeping over here, I can just open that door and go out and close the door behind me. And it's a more natural motion. So I think I like that so far. A lot of you guys told me advice. What should I cover this thing with? So for the ones that saw my previous video, this is what I was trying to cover it. It's a, it's a polymer, as you can see. It's, it's, it's a piece of plastic with two pieces of aluminum. But uh, I got a quote for these things for about $70, a sheet four by eight. Fairly flexible, so I'm not sure how good it's really gonna work, but it is $500 to cover the entire trailer. So I said, you know what, that's just too much. So I went to a couple of places where they sell stuff and I found this. So this is corrugated aluminum, uh, cor corrugated um, galvanized. And I am the first one to admit this project with galvanized sheet, which is roofing material, it's a lot cheaper. The problem is it's a lot harder to work with. So I had some difficulties, that's for sure. There's a couple of things that didn't really come out perfect, but considering that uh, it costed a quarter of what I would have been quoted for the aluminum uh, double-sided material uh, think that this is gonna be very very well worth it it's um, really I don't want to put the lipstick on a pig to be very honest with you I think uh, that would the material would have been just too great for the frame and uh, the build that I'm making I'm trying to keep this project under $300 so far I'm $220 in it and I think that this is gonna work out really really well this is actually me putting the first piece in uh, I'm going to let you enjoy the video. I'm going to obviously, as I usually do, fast forward the entire project and uh, just go from there. <laughs> 